All right, what's up, everybody? So we're going to do the install of the uh, Micro Swiss Flowtech on the K2. See how that goes. Let me show you real quick what's in the box. What's in the box? We've got the usual books and shit. Pluck my follow. Now, nah, those are the instructions, but it's just a simple nozzle replacement, basically. She, I look clean. All right, so to start, obviously make sure your printer's off. Unplug the uh, the hot end. There we go. That's one. That's two. All right. Gotta just unscrew these. I think I'm going to be able to do the top. All right. Oh, look at it. This one got a bigger heat sink. Way bigger. The back, make sure it's facing the correct way. One of these to hold it. Make sure I line everything up before you tighten everything down. Put all your screws in. All right, all my screws are in, so tighten everything down. And just plug everything up and boom, bada bang, bada boom. And just close it if you want, but I think I'm gonna leave mine open. I like the way that looks. That's clean. I'll be back. We'll do uh, the calibration. All right, we're back. So we're going to do the uh, calibration on the nozzle. So you go to settings, expert, and uh, nozzle PDI. And start. All right, we'll be back when that's done and do the first print.
All right, so we back. And the first print was the uh, flow calibrating. Let's see. Looks pretty good. We're going to see how high we can get. Probably to this one. So then you grab your calipers and uh, check your measurements. All right, so let's see what we got. So this is around where it mess started messing up. And that's 1986. Well, the one above it, that's when it started messing up. So you want to go one below it. And that's 1986. From there, you do the math. If you know, you know. And then you figure out what's your, your numbers. All right, real quick. So if you don't know, you got to put in the number you started with. We started with 10. So I usually do from 10 to 40. And I switch the... um. What's it called? The steps to one uh, millimeter instead of 0.5. And that's the math right there. So you do the 10 plus the 1986 times the one. And that's your max um, volumetric speed, 29.86. All right, so the cube is done. Let's see what we got. Oh. Might have to calibrate the filament again, but 